Hello. Right. Let's talk about Timo. Timo, 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 whatever it's called. Um, it's basically Wish rebranded for the UK. It's meant to be quicker delivery times. I ordered something. My first order, I used Apple Pay, which was... Um, oh, I haven't got it here anymore. I've sent it back because it was crap. Um <laughs> It was um, like a lightsaber LED RGB light strippy thing. Um, it looked fantastic in the pictures, you know, it had a good uh, description of things it could do. Very similar to my video lights where you could have it mimic uh, fire or like a, a candle. So I thought that's pretty cool. It's something I could probably use. Um, Sorry, my thumb's getting in the way because I'm doing it the lazy way again. Uh, something I can use in my video sort of for background. Um, so I waited like two days and then I got a message from every saying that it was going to be delivered that day. Now, I thought, wow, that's really, really quick. And I was quite impressed with that. Um, but I don't really know what happened there because I sort of then I went out of the um, every app back in and it was still the same i use another app called shop um that had all the details for the it, it's a really good app because it picks up all your stuff that's coming to you from amazon and whatever can be a bit slow but it's got all the details so it had all the tracking information so i grabbed the tracking number and put it directly in the every site um then to find out that it's not even been delivered to every it was on its way i'm guessing from china or somewhere like that i or maybe a little bit closer now um so all in all it took about a week week and a half maybe to come a little bit faster than wish but i've had things from wish come a lot quicker <clears throat> when i received it i'm not i have got photos i'll try and put them in in a minute i'll, I'll give a little pause thing because i haven't quite figured out how to uh put video uh like pictures in while the video is still running with my voice going um basically it looked like wherever it's been people have just been walking all over it, it was a orange bright orange timu bag timo timu whatever um it looked like it had been opened and sellotaped up numerous amounts of times um there was probably a good two times of opening i would say for the two lots of sellotape that was on there and then it was wrapped around the outside of it looked really really crap and terrible and unprofessional um and then i opened it up and i found that the light stick lightsaber rgb thing the box was all completely knackered it was it was squashed everywhere um and I thought, okay, fair enough. You know, this thing, every, someone said it was really good quality. <laughs> so I opened up the box to find that it pretty much, instead of it being round, it was some kind of <sighs> semi-round hexagonal shape where it had been trodden on. And the end of it was hanging off and you could see all the LEDs down inside, which there wasn't very many, to be quite honest. You know, there was a few, but there were quite big spaces in between them. So I can't see how it would have been that good. Um, so I thought, right, I'll turn it on. So I turned it on. Yeah, absolutely fine. It worked. Um, I didn't try the remote control because it didn't come with batteries, but it was all in labelled in Chinese anyway. So there was no hope in hell knowing which button done which. Now, when it comes to the buttons on the lightsabery bit, same story there. They didn't really seem to do what they're meant to do. Um, there was plus minuses. It went up and down. The other the other thing, I have no idea. No idea what half of those buttons done. Um, so then I thought, sod it. I'll turn it off. And guess what? It wouldn't turn off. I tried absolutely everything. But lucky for me, it must have run out of battery because it, it, I pressed a button and it, it turned off. So I left it there reboxed it back up as best as i could um and shoved it back in the bag ready for it to go back i also bought some hair clippers for my son um hang on because he liked i've got a set of these these were from amazon these are really good so, like this let me turn it on it's got a lovely little uh, display see there oh can you see that hang on 
there we go off i can't turn it off there we go so that's it there really good you know barbary type thing this has got some serious weight on it um this wasn't overly expensive from amazon um hang on i can't put it back <clears throat> um right no it wasn't that expensive from amazon and it i've not had any problems with it whatsoever battery lasts a good old long amount of time excuse me <coughs> tickly throw um and this thing from timu i got it out of the i just checked it because the uh, box was squashed as well but not as bad as the lightsaber it was only just on the corner just to check it was okay um got it out yeah looked absolutely fine no problem at all um then i noticed how light it was now i'm guessing this it's got the smallest battery in the world in it, um, which doesn't really matter. Just so long as you can get, you know, trim your beard or your hair, whatever you're trimming with the amount of time that that battery will have. Um, that's absolutely fine. It's not a problem at all. But I reckon you'll have to charge it every time in between trims. Um, and I did find that the power button, I would have thought it would have been like my one over there, which is actually on the handle. You press it on and off. But I know it was right at the bottom of it. Um, and it didn't really look like an on and off button. It looked like a plug hole, plugged hole with a bit of rubber. But I pressed it, turned on, seemed to work fine. Um, that is, that was absolutely fine. So I'm not sending that back. It wasn't a massive amount of money and he seems quite happy. And if it does break, I'll get him another one. Um, and I also got these things. They were branded to be like, um, Netflix, uh, sort of lights, to uh mood setting lights these little things hang on there we go yeah so it's a little led with a uh lens on the front and a little button there we go see the little button can we focus <coughs> oh really tickly dry throat today there usb end and these work really really well they're really cool they're not overly bright but they do the job and uh right i'm going to put the uh Images in now. So you see how disgraceful uh, everything was all sort of smashed up. Um, not happy, not got my money back yet. I got it, I asked for it back through um, Apple Pay. I should have just done it on, let it go on the Timu thing because I bought I bought something else which is a uh, like hanging tapestry. Really cheap on there and they're exactly the same as on Amazon. We'll see what that's like when it arrives. That shouldn't really get damaged unless something's spilt on it or it's ripped. So we'll see what happens when that arrives and I might do a video. I probably won't unless it's uh, unless you need to know that literally everything that comes there from there is damaged. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say it was all Timu's fault. You know, oh, I must say the lightsaber sticky thing. It was like a ch child's toy. That's how it was built. It was absolutely horrendous. Nothing like what everyone was saying. Um, but I think anyway... Get back to uh, how everything was smashed up. I think that might be Every's fault, to be quite honest. Yeah, Every, Hermes, you know, the ones that fuck everything up. Anyway, that's enough of this video. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you want. You don't have to. I've got lots of other videos with, you know, Sky Stream, Sky Glass. i got bikes on here, tech. Um, I've probably got Apple products. I don't know. I've got loads of stuff. I've done loads and loads and loads of videos. I've even got a Dolby Atmos soundbar, if you can find where that one is. Because I've done that a long time ago, and I have no idea. No idea where that is. Uh, I've got the unboxing of the Sky Glass. That was uh, interesting, because I unboxed it, and I set it all up myself, rather than letting the Sky Monkeys do it. Because uh, the Sky Monkeys, 
he just threw it on his shoulder and carried it down the drive, even though there was two of them. And it was meant to be a two man lift. And I thought the screen was going to be smashed or damaged, but it was OK. And it's still going now. So that's all right. But yeah, check out my other videos. You know, you might like them. But thanks for watching.